We got the star of CBS's sitcom, Superior Donuts, with us. That's hilarious because of the whole tie with the donuts. Holy moly. Yes, right? The one and only Maz Jabrani is here. Yes. And we got the new penthouse layout model. That's right. The one and only Lunell is here, too, ladies and she gentlemen. She's the pet. Yeah. She's the pet. Yes. Maz, what's up, man? Linnell, what's happening? I, all these people I've known for years now. Okay. Yeah, Maz Jabrani, I've known him for years, Linnell. And, and you and I, you know, we used to uh, be on High Street peddling uh, mixtapes together. <laughs> back in the day, right? You know. Yeah, well, I was Hammer's backup dancer. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and I was trying to tell Heather that you used to be a Golden State Warriors cheerleader. You want to elaborate on that? Well, yeah, I was the head cheerleader. Right. I taught him how to do all the cartwheels and everything like that and how to otherwise service the boys after a, a terrible loss. <laughs> <laughs> Every night's a win with you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Holy moly, don't. Molly Donut Shops. Lunell and I would always see each other in the hallway of the comedy store and just hug and say hello yeah. and give love to each other. Yeah. And when I first met him, I just gave him mad respect because I loved his character in fucking this Friday. And um, he was just so wonderful and annoying. And then, um, <laughs> you know, the slapping, all that slapping oh, yeah. and stuff. And I was just... I was like a little starstruck because I, you know, the movie was hood classic. Come on! Yes. But right, but right back at you when I saw Borat and I saw uh, you killing it, I go, Lunell <laughs> is killing it. Oh, God, that's the gift that just won't keep that keeps on giving. Keeps on know? giving. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And a whore. Yeah. And a whore it pays and now off. penthouse, you took it to whore heaven. Right, I did. I did. I classed it up though. Yeah. There were no vaginas or booty holes harmed in the filming of my photo shoot, <laughs> and there was no, you know, I my. It's more burlesque, more classier, because my daughter actually um, approved all the photos before, you know, I, I, they went to print. Because, you know, my daughter followed me on Instagram. She got a little college boy following me on Instagram, too. And then nobody wanted to see a 50-year-old vagina pulled open except somebody wow. going up in it, you know what I mean? Wow. So I, I was like, that. well, we'll we'll save that. Let's shoot from the back. Was that was that in the interview as well? It was in the, it was yeah, in the, the design concept. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, plus the, it only opens up to three pages. Uh, like way, <laughs> more, way more pages. Instead of following this monkey I'm dealing with right here. <laughs> <laughs> But it was it was a great experience and empowering for women my age and my size and my race. And my goal is to like if I get my Netflix Netflix special, yeah. I'm gonna have that the the one with that had the airbrush on my uh -huh. back. Uh, my goal is to get it on the jumbotron in Times Square. Wow! And so that's the gotta naked dream me. big. Dream you know, big. You know it's a beautiful thing because I got to tell you, Luna, I was in I was in Holland doing a show, mm -hmm. and uh, and this is just shows you how uptight we are about our sexuality and what she did is a beautiful thing because I believe in your, what you just said. We should be more open and more proud mm -hmm. of our of, of ourselves, no matter what age, what whatever. Because I was I was doing a show and and I and I was uh, at the hotel. I go, you guys got a spa? And they go, yeah, we got a spa. I go downstairs. So I go downstairs and they give me my towel and I'm walking mm -hmm. around and I see a naked dude walking around. I go, okay, that's normal. You see that in a spa in America. Mm -hmm. okay. Then I see a naked girl walking around. Oh, and I'm like, oh shit, am I like an orgy? Like, where am I at? <laughs> <laughs> and I started talking to this one dude there. I go, wow, you guys have co-ed naked spas. He goes, yeah. He goes, we're totally comfortable with our sexuality over here in Holland. He goes, we're surprised at how crazy you guys get. Like when Janet Jackson's nipple fell out, people yeah. lose their minds. <gasps> yeah. But he goes, but in your, your movies and stuff, you shoot each other all the time. And it's true. Like, you could have a PG-13 movie where you shoot each other, uh -huh. but if you show a nipple, then it goes to the R. Crack, the crack. Yeah, I think yeah. the only way to get a nipple into a PG-13, you got to shoot the nipple. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ow! Maz Jabrani, ladies and gentlemen, Ow! performing tonight at Caroline's on Broadway, yeah! 730, tomorrow, 730, Saturday, 730, and 10 p.m. So you didn't have a problem with um, um, Amber Rose just recently shut down the internet right, when she posts. Yeah, she you, you didn't see that picture? I had a problem with it. With her showing her vagina? Even though well, she looked amazing, yeah. I just don't, I mean, it's, it's enough already, you know? Uh -huh. You got a son, you know, everybody doesn't need to see what your straight up vagina looks like. She looks amazing. She Holy looks great. Mo I just but, saw but, right but now. on Instagram, like, you know. Let me see. It's really just her pelvis. But do you guys there, not how old care? Is her son? How old is her son? Her son's like three. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't understand Maybe yet. he's five. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know how bad she is. I forgot. Uh, but no, funny. here's the deal, You're right. Too. You're right. There's that, too. And then, yo, I don't understand, like, the dudes. Like, dudes will wife anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, people wifed Corinne Stephan. So you don't care. 
that your woman has sucked every dick in fucking hip hop. You don't care about that? <laughs> like, you, you can it, still it, get wives like that? Yeah. I thought there was a time when you don't wife a hoe like that. Well, at least you know what you're you, getting. Well, yeah, and everybody <laughs> and else knows, too. She's experienced. She's experienced. That's good. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just saying that if some things need to be, you know, some things, something need to be private. I guess they take it down. Well, they did take it down, right? Yeah. But, that's, but down. that's the point, though. If we were to if we were to actually ease up on, like, it, it wouldn't be a big deal if it was like, whatever. I mean, it, it's just part of your body. Like, it's, that picture is actually art. Like, that's yeah. actually an artistic. Yeah. You're talking about what um, Amber Rose did. Yeah. yeah that's, uh, that's, okay. that's really art. Mine, too, as a matter of fact. They the ones in pictures. House. Yeah, yeah, not the ones in, <laughs> not the ones in my top drawer. The ones in pen house. <laughs> that ain't art. Them pictures in the top drawer. That's private. That's real private. Like, so what? Also, what I don't understand is all these celebrity uh, break-ins. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, first of all, let me just say this: I want every real estate listen owner in the world that can hear the sound of my voice to hear what I'm saying. I don't care how ridiculous you think it sound. If I move to Calabasas, I move to Beverly Hills, I'm going to be the bitch with the bars on my motherfucking house. You understand? <laughs> mm-hmm. I grew up on bars. I'm cool with bars. I've been locked behind bars. I've got I, bars I can come from <laughs> behind now. And it, there's these people got these houses, all glass wall side of the house, and they don't, forgot to put their alarm on or they, all their friends know they got damn cold. Now you wake up, you got a dick on your face and your jewelry's gone. Oh Home God. invasion. <laughs> Home invasion. <laughs> no, I'm not going for it. I, I, I lock my, if I roll my garbage cans out I put my alarm on you feel me <laughs> I'm not going for that so I don't, and the thing is that all these people are being set up by people they know people that, and I'm you know me and King Tech got a home in that neighborhood been there since 95 before any of them got there Linnell mm-hmm. and was no break, no break-ins no you know uh, uh, who just came Kevin matter of fact Kevin Hart Kevin came Hart. in and he was talking about his break-in and so what he had a break-in too Kevin Hart had yeah. a break-in he Jesus. said he, he hopes somebody breaks in his house again he got something for him now. Yeah. You know. But why didn't you have that before? <laughs> he probably did. See, no, no. Yeah. I'm going to tell you. See, y'all been rich a long motherfucking time. I'm not <laughs> rich yet. I still have my hood uh, survival tactics in, you know, leave the TV on. Leave the light on in the kitchen. You know, turn it up where they can hear mm-hmm. it. Have you a know little radio in the bathroom. Now, uh, right? You know, the, the, yeah, keep a lock on that bathroom door for when that weird cousin come over. All that shit. I got all my hood survival shit still. So I don't know how to be loosey goosey. I'm rich. Ain't nobody gonna fuck. Uh, then now nah, everybody done got got. Everybody done got, got got. They got Kim in Europe. Yeah. yeah, French, French thieves. I can't imagine being robbed by French dudes. A just Frenchie. like, yeah, bonjour, give bonjour. me your, yeah. and your, and your jewelry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, shut up, Pierre. Time me up, man. You're making me laugh. <laughs> what is the combination? I yeah. shut up, man. You just said combination. Come on, Pierre. Right? Come on, Pierre. Come on, Pierre. Said, time me up, man. You're making me laugh. Yeah. Linnell, where you where you performing at? Um, well, on a Saturday, I am at the King's Theater in Brooklyn. Okay. And on Sunday, I'm at NJ Pack with the Big Father's Day show with yeah. Earthquake and everybody. Mm-hmm. Rollins, it's a big show. Everybody yeah, it's actually about the, that. In Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah. It's a big Y'all show. Kill that. And on Father's Day too, and it's just gonna be so much fun because these are all my. All my my friends, and D. Ray stuff Davis, like that. On yeah, they're all, all my friends. Yeah, but uh, I, you know, I just Duval, little Duval. Yeah, little Duval, ignorant ass. Yeah. He can't. <laughs> Chico Bean. Chico Bean, I don't know so much. Okay, know. but you gave him props, though. You can't give him props, oh, you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn, was that shade? Okay, uh, uh, Mars game. You know, Mars doing network TV now, man. That's CBS, wow. man. CBS. Yeah, he's a sellout. He's a sellout. No, he's no. Sellout. Hey, you know how I gotta gotta take it while I when I can, man. No, it's funny because this is the first time I've gotten uh, a second season. Like, because it's it's called Superior Donuts. Sure. It's like it's yeah, like yeah, it's I like know, Cheers in a Donut it. Shop, right, and. Uh, and people ask me, they go, "What's it like working with Judd Hirsch, Katie Segal?" And I go, "Listen, I, you know, I got to tell you, as a Middle Eastern actor, getting to season two, like normally they kill me in season one, so I don't make it to <laughs> season two now. right. nowadays. Yeah, so I made it to season two. I'm excited, man. Yeah, but let me ask you this, because I know people like Nick Cannon has said things uh, in his stage show that 
he's lost, you know, jobs and advertisement. Different comedians have sure, yeah. said things. You get politically charged in your comedy and you, you speak on the president. It's a sensitive but, but, time right now. It's yeah. crazy. My, my friend actually, Reza Aslan, uh, who had a, C, a show on CNN called Believer where he would go around, you know, checking out other religions and stuff. He went when Trump. Uh, sent out a tweet criticizing the mayor of London mm -hmm. when the terrorists attacked in London. Uh, this guy, Reza Aslan, tweeted about Trump and called him a piece of shit in his tweet. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And CNN uh, cut off his show. And I couldn't believe that. Like, I was like, I, listen, I understand whatever. Some people might get uh, uh, offended if somebody calls the they president a show. piece of shit. Yeah, they, they, they cancel the show. Yeah. And, and, and listen, I understand that some people go, that's disrespectful, or if they don't want to watch a show or whatever. <laughs> but I feel like, I mean, obviously, CNN can do whatever they want. They're a private company. Yeah. But I feel like that's like the first step. Like, the beauty of America. I was born in Iran. You can't make fun of the president of Iran in Iran. Yeah. If you make fun of the president of Iran, you'd be hey, that was a good show. When's your next show? You'd be like, there are no more shows. Yep. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It. But the point of America is we should be able to criticize our president and you should be able to call your president a piece of shit if you want to. And especially and if he is one. If you want, listen, it is your call, right? And and I don't think I personally thought that that was, uh, that was CNN going too far uh -huh. in, 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 in but cutting was, him off. But this was post Kathy Griffin though. These are post Kathy Griffin. Now, now the Kathy Griffin thing, in my opinion, like obviously, if you if you're basically like showing like the killing of somebody, that's a whole other. Yeah. You now you're entering another. Now you're getting in a dangerous speech. Yeah. Right. Whereas like you know cussing somebody out, and especially, and, and especially with a beheading. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's that's real. That's real. That's real dangerous. Because if it's about just cussing, you know how much stuff they said about Barack Obama. You I'm know how saying, much shit my, they said about Barack Obama and, and, and they got away with and it. Cartoons yeah. and songs and drawing. You know, hang in there, Barack. Ain't that a bitch with a noose and yeah. stuff like yeah. that? Well, you, you know, know the saying? whole thing with Barack and the and the and the birth certificate. Like they were they were saying like, oh, we're not racist. We just want to see the birth certificate. Oh yeah, how many white presidents had to produce Have their birth long form birth, birth certificate? Mm -hmm. right. Zero. Right. Nobody ever asked any of the white presidents. Let me see your long form birth That's certificate. Right. That's right. This guy though, they get, so my point is that you're right. You got to be a little bit careful about what you say. But I'm a comedian and I got an opinion and I'm going to say what I got to say. Me too. And okay. you got to say what you got to say. And I'm not apologizing for shit. Yeah. I say they can come. I don't see the FBI hanging around on Crenshaw and Slauson, and that's how, where I roll at. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, bro, and, and, and Trump ain't came to Lamert Park to try to make no damn speech to us neither. Mm -hmm. Because uh, these six people that just got shot or whatever at the, at the, the senators or whatever yeah, like the that, baseball game. it's just at the Ale beginning. Alexandria. You know, this is yeah. just, and he, he started this whole... He's the cheerleader for races. They Absolutely. haven't had a cheerleader before. And he brought them all out. And now everybody hates everybody. This is such a mean society. Yeah. You can't say one thing the way you speak on on social media unless you want your whole shit slammed down by people uh, uh, calling you whatever they want to call you and talking bad about you. Like for days and days and just being barraged with thousands and thousands of people who you don't know, don't give a fuck, will never meet. And they just slamming you yeah. for, for, for going off like Races that. Races have become emboldened, I yes. think, under Trump. And I think he needs to take. See, the, th the here's my problem with him. Like I always thought, like I was like, I could, I think I could sit sit across from him at dinner, and we might have some disagreements. But I always said that I feared the people that follow him, not all of them, but the ones that follow him and then take his word at face value. Yeah. And then they show up at, there was a guy at the beach in Texas going up to an Arab family going like, this is Trump's America, motherfuckers. Get oh, out of yeah, this country. Shit like These that. guys were at the beach just hanging out. Yeah. So what happens is people that are, listen, there's crazy people on both sides, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the unfortunate thing is, as a president, you got to be a leader and calm it as opposed to feeding that fuel. Yeah. And I think that he's emboldened a lot of races. I, I agree with you. And I think that he needs to take responsibility for that and, and make some comments to, to try and you know change it. Okay, well, I just ate three chocolate covered edible coffee beans and this is really killing my buzz right okay, now. Okay, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Linnell, ladies and gentlemen. Give her a round of applause. Yeah, just saying. And, and Linnell, how can I reach you on social media? Um, uh, Instagram and Twitter is at Lunell, at L-U-E-N-E-L-L. -L. And please watch me on Lopez every Wednesday night on TV Land, George Lopez's show. I have a wonderful role on there. Thank okay. You very much. Yeah. I want to do your show too. I would love to I have you on like the show. You can make it happen. I'm You're gonna make it happen. I'm gonna now. let them know. I'm gonna let them know. I'm not reach fucking you. with you. I would love to <laughs> spend a week with Lunell. You kidding me? How, <laughs> well, make how that can happen? I reach you, you too? How can I reach you? Uh, you need a donor role. I'm, we're gonna do that, baby. <laughs> Uh, you can find me at Maz Yobrani, M-A-Z-J-O-B-R-A-N-I on Twitter, Instagram, and hopefully
hopefully Lunella and I will be uh, romantic partners yeah. on Superior Donuts. Can't you just see yeah, it? Yeah, baby. All right, Maz, thank you for coming through, my friend. Lunell, thank you for coming thank through, you, my Sway. sister. All right, and then next time you come in town, come back so we give you more time. I will you ever, ever, ever in your life come see me? Absolutely. To perform? Yeah. Yeah, when I'm, I'm in Oakland this weekend. I, fl- I fly. Uh, fly okay, you know. Go you Warriors. know the parade's going on yeah, right yeah, now. I know. Tell Heather that. She's not a Warriors fan. All right, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, so uh, we want to thank Adrian Marcel for coming through, Lizzo for coming through, and until tomorrow, we have nothing. All right. Left to say. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45. Check